What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video I'm gonna quickly show you how to erase and reset your MacBook to factory settings. Yes, this means I'm gonna erase all data that I've got in my MacBook. We're gonna keep it as brand new so we can actually sell it to someone else or trade. You wanna make sure you sell it to somebody and that your information is safe, that it's completely wiped out of your MacBook device. And do not worry because this works on all MacBook models, whether you've got a much older version or a much newer version of a MacBook model. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. So jumping straight into the tutorial, I'll be performing the complete wipe here on this MacBook in here, which is a bit older, but it's the one that I can reset it in order to show it to you guys. I've got important information in the other one, so I'll be performing it on this one. But do not worry, these steps are exactly the same. Before we even get started, let me quickly connect my charger as I see that I'm running low on charge. And since we're gonna reinstall the operating system at the end, it's important to have charge so that it doesn't get stuck in the middle of the process. So first things first, what we need to do is actually open up messages here on our MacBook, right? This might sound strange, but we need to open up messages to make sure we sign out from messages because this might get us stuck or delayed while performing the process. So open up messages in here, go to the top left corner, tap on messages, preferences, and then tap here on iMessage. Next up, you wanna tap here on sign out to remove your account, your iCloud account in this case from your computer. Tap on sign out. Next up would be to close the messages app and to open up music or iTunes. If you've got iTunes, if you have a much older operating system which still uses iTunes, open up iTunes. If you've got a much recent MacBook or software like mine, I'm running Big Sur in here, open up music, okay? So we're gonna tap on account right here. We're gonna tap on sign out, okay? Tap on sign out to sign out from your iCloud account here on iTunes. So once this is done, we're good to go. We're gonna sign out now from the main computer settings, okay? So last but not least, we're gonna tap here on the Apple logo, tap on system preferences, and then tap here on Apple ID, okay? So once you tap on Apple ID, you're gonna be able to see your iCloud account in here. And what you wanna do is tap on overview right here. Once you tap on overview, you're gonna tap here on sign out down here to remove your iCloud from this device. So I would recommend you guys to keep a copy of all the data that you had here on your device before you sign out so you do not lose any data. In my case, I won't be doing this. I'll just tap on continue by deselecting all three options in here that I've got, okay? But I would recommend you guys to back up your data first by making a copy. Next up, tap on continue. It's gonna take you a few seconds to log out from your laptop. Boom, here we go, the process is now complete and our computer is now logged out and free of any iCloud account. This is the very first step. Next up, we're gonna tap here on the Apple logo and tap on shut down, okay? So we're gonna quickly shut down our MacBook device. Here we go, MacBook is now completely shut down and the next step is to actually open up the recovery menu okay so in order to open up the recovery menu we're gonna tap once on the power button release and then we're gonna press and hold the command and r keys okay until we see the recovery menu this is how it goes once on power release command and r so keep on pressing command and r keys for a few seconds probably five to six seconds Keep on holding the keys. And as soon as you see the Apple logo with the progress bar, you're gonna release the keys. Here we go, the progress bar has started. Now I'm gonna release both of the keys and let the laptop turn on by itself. 
here we go laptop is now on and we need to select our language in my case i'll go with english tap on next and it's now examining the volumes that we've got in here the hard disks here in our computer once this is done we need to select our regular user tap on next and then type in our password that we used to log in into our main user tap on enter and then we've got in here this next window that pops up so it says restore from time machine reinstall mac os safari and disk utility so we're going to tap on disk utility and tap on continue okay and trust me there is no possible way of restoring data here from this reset that we're going to be doing because we're going to be wiping and actually performing a format which is a complete uh, erase of the entire macbook okay so right now what we're going to be doing is we need to select our disk which is usually here at the top left corner labeled as internal so we've got internal we've got untitled right here so we're going to select this disk right here and you can also confirm by checking the size of the storage the storage size okay so it's 121 which is 128 gigabytes 7 gigabytes have been probably used by the system itself so it should be something like 128 or 256 or 512 or one terabyte right so if you see something like one gigabyte this is probably the wrong location that you are looking at so here at internal select untitled it and here we go we've got our main disk next up what you're gonna do is tap here on erase right here okay so you're gonna tap on erase and then you can name it a different way this is the name of your disk let me quickly name it as shack okay and make sure that the format is the same as it was which is apfs in most cases this is the format that apple uses itself so keep it as it is and tap on erase right here so tap on erase and the erasing process will start here in a few seconds all we need to do is just sit back relax and let apple do its thing so here we go as soon as the process is complete you'll see a green tick in here which says erase process is complete click done to continue right so we're gonna tap here on done and next up we're gonna be tapping here on disk utility on the top left corner and then we're gonna go all the way to quit disk utility so tap on quit disk utility and next up we're gonna be back to this main menu right here which says restore from time machine reinstall mac os safari and disk utility we're gonna tap here on reinstall mac os okay for example for me it's big sur because i had big sur in the past you might be having a different software do not worry simply select here and tap on continue okay now make sure that you're connected to the wi-fi by tapping on the top left corner and see if you've got your wireless natural connected it's very important to have wireless connected and make sure you have some battery left if you have pretty low battery levels make sure you connect your charger just the way i am doing right now as i only have 11 percent so next up simply tap on continue and then we've got in here the terms and conditions by Apple themselves. Make sure you read it. It's important to read and then tap on agree, right? And then agree once again, and then select this disk that we named the shack. Remember, this is the hard disk where I want to install the software in. So select this one and then tap here on continue. And here we go the installation process is now taking place uh, my laptop is actually downloading the operating system and then it's going to install here in this disk right here and once this process gets completed all i need to do is just log in with my new icloud my password and my macbook will be set up as a brand new apple device in your case if you want to trade or sell your computer the new owner of the device will log in with the new credentials okay thank you so much for making it till the end of this video and if you find my video useful consider subscribing to the channel like the video and leave a comment down below also if you have any doubt 
please leave a comment down below and I'll definitely reply to you as soon as possible. Thanks for making it till the end of the video and for watching Fixed by Shaq. Have a great day.